so this is my game treatment. So RC Motorsport, I had refined my log line RC uh, to RC as per one of your notes, Stefan. Um, RC Motorsport gets your hard pumping and adrenaline flowing in an arca arcade style racing game that tests your skill and precision on track. High speed, fast drifting, and dangerous obstacles is what RC Motorsport is all about. So important systems that are going to be included in the game is the dust particles for when you drive over parts of the track that's uh, filled with gravel, like sort of like a rallycross track. The water generate uh, the water generator for like the water traps and such. Um, the damage systems for some of the obstacles, as some of the obstacles will be able to deal damage to the player car and whoever the player decides to push into the obstacles on track to get an edge. Obviously a health bar so that you can see how damaged your car is. Uh, the drive controller which is the most important because without that the game is pretty much useless. Uh, floor boost just to get yourself some extra speed on the straights and for jumps. Uh, the follow camera so that the camera is nice and stable for when you're racing and having doing jumps and avoiding obstacles and stuff. And the customization system. It's something I haven't actually done before and I'm looking forward to testing it out and seeing what type of customization um, I can add to the game. For now, I'm aiming just so that you can, the player can change colors, but later on, maybe change wheels and maybe add like spoilers and bonnets and such. And like decals. Storyboard. So... The first screen is just the main menu screen, a basic breakdown of what the home sc the, ma the main menu screen is going to look like for, uh, during testing. Same with the victory screen. Um, later on, I will work on getting the like just the a background feed of the car is still going around the track after the race is finished. Um, and then the garage menu, the top of options you're going to have in the garage menu, my cars where you can view which cars you own to uh, buy cars so you can buy new vehicles with the money that you win from races and then the customization menu obviously so yeah it's just a simple view is like this is now on the grid number one two and three race starts this is like drifting so this is a corner and the cars are drifting i'm apologize for my bad drawings i'm really bad at drawing and then just like jumps in races like these are going to be the biggest moments in the games in the game, including the victory, obviously. Um, yeah. So as the game doesn't really have much of a, doesn't really have a storyline, it's just get on the game and play it until you're completely bored, or you and your friends are finished racing for the day. As this game is just intended to be like, no story, just sit down and race. That's all. And then core assets um, I'm planning on using. Uh, all of these. Um, I like this one the most. Uh, this one's also pretty sick. That might be an unlockable vehicle. Um, all of these assets are available on Sketchfab. And they will only be used for testing purposes in the initial stages until I can create my own vehicles. Or, well, not till I can. Uh, until I have enough vehicles of my own creation to add into the game. But for now... Each vehicle fits a different class, which uh, will help with testing and refining it. And then just now for, for testing, uh, the track, uh, loosely, that's uh, this one on the left is the type of track I'll be using. Um, obviously, I'm just going to edit this track a little bit in Unity itself just to change it a little bit, like move this jump to over there. And then just make this straight away with like a water pit or like a puddle where you have to go through that slows you down ultimately. So you can see there's a start line. So it's going to be drifting, drifting, drifting. Obstacle. Jump. Obstacle. Drift. Obstacle. Drift. The container obstacle that I outlined in my, uh, in my previous hand-in. Um, so the, basically it's going to be one narrow part where... The cars can't go side by side, they have to go behind one another, and whoever is in front 
gets first pick at it. And then another drift. And then like a little kicker jump just for speed. Extra speed down the straight. And then that's it. And this is just the basic example of what my start line thing is going to look like. This is my refined color palette. Uh, as I said, I was going, I was going to go with neon colors. Um, I'm liking the bottom the most. This will be used for some of the, the like the light, the environments, also for like lighting, the sky, some of the cars paints, and then also just like clouds and stuff. And then these are just some scar ske car sketches uh, that I that I brought that I did up. Uh, just to think about what type of vehicles I want in, a, in the game. And these are the jump designs. These are like this little speed jumps. It's going to give you a speed uh, boost. Uh, kick a jump just to make things interesting on the straights as well. And then the jump over the portion of the track, a high angle dirt jump. And then this is the like a jump over water that I was talking about. And then these are the obstacles. These ones will damage you. This one will slow you down a little bit, and this is the one where I said uh, you have to, you can't go side by side, it's only one, like, you, you can only go in a straight line. So all the cars have to either tuck in behind each other or overtake whoever's in front to be first through there. These ones are like little blades that are going to be cutting across the, across the track at certain stages just to cut some wheels. These will actually slam into your body when you trick, the car's body when you trigger them. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you.